I am one of the one in five women that suffer from postpartum depression and anxiety. But um, I really look up to the moms on Jersey Shore because I know a couple of them have struggled with it. And, you know, they've given me some really good advice. Yeah. Delta, congratulations on your beautiful baby. How are you feeling? You look fantastic. Thank you. I feel great. I love being a mom. It's my favorite thing that I've ever done. And um, I just hope Gray, when he gets older, he doesn't watch the show. <laughs> Is that a definite no, no, uh, definitely not going to watch the show. Well, then I have to keep him away from his uncle Cody because his uncle Cody is going to be the one trying to show it to him. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Definitely. <laughs> what, what were some of the advantages, disadvantages of filming the show while pregnant? So some of the advantages were I got my own room this season and some of the disadvantages were like, I wasn't, I didn't get a, I wasn't able to move as quick as normal. Cause I was so big. So if a fight was about to break out, like I was like trying to hobble away, trying to wobble, you know, get away from the fight. Um, so, but overall it was, it was the hardest thing I've ever done, but it was awesome being the only sober one because the next day I could recap to everyone what actually happened. Uh, those, what have the first few months of motherhood been like for you? What has been the most challenging? And, you know, because post, uh, postpartum isn't always so easy. What, so what's been the most challenging for you? So I was actually diagnosed with depression and anxiety while I was pregnant. So I was at a higher risk of having it after I gave birth. And I am one of the one in five women that suffer from postpartum depression and anxiety. But um, I really look up to the moms on Jersey Shore because I know a couple of them have struggled with it. And, you know, they've given me some really good advice. And I know that if they can get through it, I can get through it. And I would suffer from postpartum depression every single day of my life if it means I get to have my son. Like what, are, what is some of the advice that they gave you? They're just like, you know, it's one of the hardest things, but it's one of the most enjoyable and rewarding things. Um, and that uh, motherhood is hard, but you'll get through it. And also, are we going to see the baby this season? Are you going to show labor and delivery or is where cameras not allowed? So I did take a couple of videos for everyone to see and I'm super excited. Um, some people like Cody might get a little queasy, but <laughs> I did take some videos. So I'm excited for everyone to see that. Mm -hmm, definitely. I'm sure. Uh, was it, was that a little, what was your labor and delivery, what you expected? Was it harder, easier than you thought? It was way harder. It's the hardest thing I've ever done in my entire life. I was in labor for 31 hours. I pushed, I tried to push him out. He didn't want to come out. He loved being up in there. He was super cozy and I ended up having to have a C-section. Um, so it was a really hard labor, but I know other moms have it worse and we're happy. We're healthy and I'm grateful. Definitely. Cody, Amy, did this give you baby fever at all? No. Oh, hell no. It probably did I the opposite. Gray. Yeah, I love being an aunt, but yeah, I don't want kids. I like animals listen. and I don't think I can handle two of me. L listen, I love kids and I coach, you know, rec sports and everything. And I love doing it and I've done it for years. But I love everybody else's kid because you can give them back. 